Hey everybody and welcome to Ask Dear Abby, a show where we uncover what ails our animal friends and offer some top-notch animal advice from our delightful doe, Abby. Well, thank you for that introduction. And of course, this all was impossible without you, Hopper, our faithful showrunner. Hey Abs, it's a brand new month and you know what that means. It's time for some fun animal fast facts. <laughs> you know it. What you got for us today, Abs? Well, since spring has officially sprung, I thought it'd be fun to learn about some of our favorite spring animal friends. For one, did you know that chickens don't bathe in water like humans do? They actually bathe in dust. So they take dirt baths? And that gets them cleaner how exactly? <laughs> I know it seems like bathing in dust would make chickens dirtier, but the fine particles in the dust actually helps keep their feathers clean. And the dust can even help keep pests like mites and lice out of their feathers. Mites and lice sure don't sound nice. <laughs> you got that right. Well, Hoppy, here's another fun fact for you. Did you know that sheep have nearly 360 degree vision? This is because sheep have rectangular pupils, whereas humans have circular pupils. Because of this, sheep can see almost everything around them, except for what's directly behind them, without having to turn their heads. I see what you mean in more ways than one, because I too have 360 degree vision. Well, almost. And just to be clear, that doesn't mean that I'm sheepish. <laughs> <laughs> so, Hobby, what's going on in the neighborhood? What an excellent question, Abs. It just so happens that the Hope Habitat Zoo and Aquarium annual Easter egg hunt extravaganza is coming up in about a week. Whew. Try saying that five times fast. That five times fast. <laughs> huh? Oh, <laughs> very clever, Miss Literal. Anyway, there's going to be an egg toss, egg dyeing stations, the big egg hunt, of course, and my favorite, an omelet bar. Ooh, that sounds exactly like my kind of event. Obvi, you're interested in the omelet bar, but are there any other activities that you're egg-static to try? <laughs> well, I'm no artist like our fellow animal friends that we feature on our Fine Art Fridays, so egg dyeing props won't be on my list. But what will be on my list is the egg hunt, because it's supposed to be really egg-siding. Get it? You mean because it's a play on words for the word exciting? And? Oh, it's also a play on words for sighting or finding eggs. Wow, well done, my punny bunny pal. <laughs> I, on the other hand, can't wait to color some eggs. And I, for one, can't wait to see them. Well, I guess that does it for our neighborhood news. And remember, if you've got a problem, just stop on by and we'll say hi at Ask Dear Abby. Bye-bye now.